morning, everyone. Screaming Geek Media here. I am Jerry the Geek. Today, we're going to talk about Enter the Dragon on 4K. But before we get into that, if you like physical media, you know, 4Ks, Blu-rays, even DVDs, you know, like home theater, you know, movies in general, you know, check out my other videos on my channel. I do unboxings, reviews, discussions, collection updates. You know, check that stuff out. Like, subscribe, and turn your bell notifications on. So let's get into... Enter the Dragon on 4K. The movie came out in 1973, rated R. So, I mean, it celebrated its uh, 50th anniversary last year. And you, know, you got the great Bruce Lee, John Saxon, Jim Kelly, uh, directed by Robert Klaus. It's a great classic movie. I mean, if you like any of the old kung fu martial arts stuff, you know, I've always liked Bruce Lee's stuff. I, you know, I grew up with watching a lot of his stuff. And recent years, I really need to get back into picking some of that stuff up and, you know, re-watching. You know, Enter the Dragon revolves around him. He, you know, plays the role of Lee. Uh, he gets invited to uh, this uh, big tournament on this island owned by uh, Han. And basically, he gets uh, recruited to go undercover at that tournament to uncover some, uh, you know, crime, drugs, and whatnot. Some of the fight scenes is very intense. I've I always liked the old school martial arts. Some of the newer stuff is so everything is so choreographed and it's like you can see some fast stuff and all of a sudden it's just like you can tell everything was well planned. I like the old school, you know, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, you know, Jackie Chan's older stuff. Everything is just bam, 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 really fast in your face and hard to keep up as crazy. And another thing is that. Uh, the final fight scene with uh, Bruce Lee here when he's got, you know, his shirt off. This guy has such a physical shape. I mean, all the muscles just look like he just, the skin will just, you know, peel tight over all the muscle over his whole body. And this guy is freaking ripped. That is crazy. Now, this 4K release comes from Warner Brothers. Came out in 2023 for the 50th anniversary. Yeah, the movie was filmed in a 35 millimeter. I don't know about the digital intermediate. Didn't have any info there, but it does have a finish with an HDR10, uh, no Dolby Vision. But even without that, the visuals here, out of the gate, I was just completely blown away. The colors really freaking leap off the screen. You know, all the you know the blues, the reds, the yellows, looks incredible. Uh, great details. And some really good depth to everything. Another great highlight was uh, when they arrived to the island and uh, they're at the little banquet thing and all the colors inside that scene are incredible. And then when Han shows up, the robe he has on, you know, it's all black and it's got the red and golds on it and sparkly. It's, it looks phenomenal. Great saturation of the colors, like I said. Even the blacks and the whites are really well done. And during the final battle scene, you know, those... The sweat and blood on Bruce Lee looks highly detailed. So from beginning to end, this presentation is phenomenal. This will blow your socks off. Now, as far as a Blu-ray comparison, the Res 9, because this did not come with a Blu-ray, just a 4K. I've never owned this on Blu-ray, just a DVD. So this was a major upgrade for me. So here, check out some screenshots, you know, showing off the 4K. Then we'll come back and talk about the audio bonus features and packaging. We'll see you in a couple minutes.
for the audio, they gave us a Dolby Atmos track along with a DTS HD Master Audio Mono. Nicely done. I mean, it's uh, definitely the track. Sh the movie shows its age with the audio, even with Dolby Atmos. I mean, it's decent. You know, has some nice ambience, and especially with the music really kicks in. But at at times, the music almost sounds a little bit overpowering in the surrounds. And I think they could have just brought the surround audio down just a hair to have a little bit better balance. But overall, it's nice. You know, has some nice channel separation. No, actually, a nice bass during the music score. Uh, clear dialogue throughout. And I sampled a mono track a couple times as well. Um, very nicely done as well there. It's got a nice well balance. Again, a little bit too much of the music kind of overpowers everything else, but it does have a nice solid track. Now for the packaging here, this does come with a slip cover. And we'll see them back there. We'll say adios to that. You know, standard keep case. And we'll get to the digital code in a minute. And I like the coloring they did for the 4K. It's pretty cool. Not your standard, you know, black or, you know, it's got that nice uh, brownish amber tone to it. And here's the digital code if you want. And uh, just go ahead and pause the screen here and, you know, check this out. Now for the bonus features here, we have a, uh, we have the both theatrical and special edition versions. Uh, introduction by Linda Lee uh, Cadwell. Also, we have a commentary by uh, Paul Heller and Michael Allen. So a couple cool things here, not a lot. So to wrap it up, a solid presentation here from uh, Warner Brothers. They hit it out of the park. Again, since I didn't have the Blu-ray, I don't know how much. I'm sure this is a decent upgrade over the Blu-ray. But definitely a big upgrade over the DVD I have. I had for ages. But I would recommend picking this up. I mean, this looks phenomenal. And I take a movie that's freaking 50 years old and make it look like it was filmed yesterday. I just, I just can't get over how great this thing looks. If you have not seen this, if you're a fan of, you know, martial arts, definitely go in back and look, you know, pick up some of this old Bruce Lee stuff because... I just love that old quick style to it. And, you know, it doesn't look choreographed. It's just like bam, 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 and freaking kick your ass, you know, if you meet him. I would not want to meet him in a dark alley. May look like a little scrawny dude, but he'll kick your ass. Hey, right now it's running about $17 on Amazon. I picked up during the Black Friday deals for about 10 bucks. But I would recommend picking this up. It is an incredible, this is a great addition to your collection. So that pretty much does it for my look at the 4K of Enter the Dragon with Bruce Lee. Um, please comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, please check out my other videos on my channel. Like, subscribe, turn your bell notifications on. And we'll see you soon. Geek out.